Halloween heartthrob and today I want to make something for Mother's Day. So this video is going to be maybe posted on Friday. I don't know when I'm going to post this but I know Mother's Day is Sunday the 13th. And I want to make her a tiny little uh, cat ornament and I want to make it of my cat. So what you'll need is the base color of your cat and some pink for the little beans and the little nose. Now technically my cat has little brown or black beans and a black nose and by beans I mean the padding or paws like the squishy stuff underneath their legs <laughs> so uh, but it looks a little bit more cute to be pink um, than their actual color because my mom's trying to get rid of a whole bunch of stuff like I am because it's spring cleaning I don't want to give her something that she can't use so I'm going to make this into an ornament or if not you can either make it into a brooch. Uh, I have another video where I melt the f made melt. I just melt felt. Made a felt brooch. Um, so there's that. So I want her to be able to use this and see it or do whatever with it and not just give her like random useless stuff. Plus it's my cat and she loves my cat. So, <laughs> so I'm going to make them. You'll need the felt some embroidery thread of multicolors, a pattern piece which I made. All I did was I drew out a picture of a cat, not even that, just like the shape of a cat, and I cut out all those pieces out of felt. So you'll need two body pieces, one tail piece, if you're doing a cat, whatever animal you make, just make sure it's basic shapes. Uh, two ears, well one, one of two, yeah, two. Um, and this one, my cat has a little notch cut out of his ear. It means that he is um, neutered. <laughs> uh, so I did that. And four little legs, as well as two triangle pieces that are pink, a tiny triangle piece for the nose, and four little tiny pink circles for the beans. And the last thing you'll need is some sort of glue. You can use hot glue, but I'm going to use Fabri-Tac. It's upside down because I'm trying to let the glue go down there. And you'll need a embroidery sewing needle. And they look a little bit bigger than regular needles. There we go. So let's go ahead. Uh, the first things first is you don't want to start sewing stuff together. You're going to want to detail the face or whatever it is first, and then you'll sew. So what I'm going to do um, is glue the little beans to the legs and I'll do that to all four and then I'll show you what they look like after. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> it's basically a potato with eyes. <laughs> um, I decided to cut out little tiny felt eyes. Um, there's different like levels of felt and this one's like uh, pretty stiff and it's like the closest to uh, like cardboard or like cardstock and then there's stuff like this where it's like super plushy um, and it goes like up and down. You'll be able to see like when you go to the store usually like places hobby like Hobby Lobby will have um, on the sticker like plus two plus five stuff like that. Um, so <laughs> I added that. All my little leggies have beans so <laughs> Uh, there's that, and then the ears uh, have their little triangles in there. So what I kind of decided to do is, because my cat isn't necessarily gray or one color, I'm going to take some chalk pastels and pastel them, but I'm going to wait until after I'm done. So before we start assembling it, uh, there's a little detail that I want to make with some pink thread. And just go ahead and tie it off. You don't have to be an amazing hand sewer, seamstress, whatever. I think the more, uh, I guess, not tattered, but silly that it looks, the more um, charm it has. Of course, if you want to continue making these, the more you try, uh, the more you make them, the better you'll get at it. Like me, like, the, I think this is only the second or third little uh, fabric or um, felt thing that I made, but here we go. We'll figure out what that is at the end. So now, because we have all of our pieces together, we're going to thread our needle with some black thread. Now, embroidery thread's pretty thick, 
So if you don't want the thickness of just straight embroidery thread, you can peel apart the different layers that it has because it had it's um basically made up of a whole bunch of different threads, but I want to keep the thickness for it and um, go ahead and get into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our pieces and oops, goes the other way. put them together so we have the little designs on the outside. We're not going to be turning it inside out so you don't have to worry about that. But before we just go ahead and sew it together, we're going to place the pieces in between them so then we can sew over top of it and don't forget to leave a little hole somewhere so you can stuff it a little bit with uh, some I was gonna say fabric you can stuff it with fabric I guess but some stuffing So because I can't pay attention to what I'm doing, I had to put the hanger on a different spot. So I'm going to make the kitty like hanging, uh, which means I'm going to have to rearrange how I'm going to put on the little leggies. Which means uh, I stopped here, right where the face is, and I will be leaving it open. So I'm going to sew one more stitch and then sew a little X to hold on to the leg. And then I'll do it to the other side as well. Um, technically, you probably should have done this first uh, before. Um, but I just, I don't even follow my own rules. So we're going to go ahead and do that before I screw it up any further. Okay, so now we have the little kitty all stitched up. Now, I tried to make it so they were as close as possible, but there was still some gapping in between. So what I did is I just tried to sew it as close together as possible, and then I used glue for both the, uh, the in-betweens of their, of his leggies. So now that this part is open, this is the last little part that I need to, uh, sew, but I'm going to put some stuffing. Yep, it's in his butt. This plumps him up a little bit, and then once, you don't need too much stuffing. If you don't have stuffing, you could also use some uh, scrap fabric or tissues. A little too much. Take some out. Well, oh, too much. Too much! He looks so derpy. <laughs> now that he's stuffed, time to put in the ribbon, and then go ahead and sew him up. And when you're done, tie off the string, and then push it through, push the needle through the middle, and pull the thread all the way through. Tug on it just a little bit, cut it, and then there we go. We have a little cat ornament. It was his butthole. <laughs> so what I think I'm going to do is try and make my cat's little markings with some pastel. I don't know how well this is going to work. Some chalk pastels. I highly suggest using chalk pastels because I feel like if you used regular pastels, uh, it'd be very gross and messy. All right, and there we go. He's all done. <laughs> now, it's not my best work, and I probably could have done better with the eyes, but in person, I feel like he's cute. He looks a little goofy, and, uh, that's all that really matters. So thank you so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Comments are always welcome. And I'll see you in another video. Bye! I'd like to take this moment and thank my patrons, Maggie P. and BB. You guys are great.